okay? And there was a scene in the movie where uh, General Okoye, everybody know her, that, that sister's bad, right? We leave her at the door behind you, where she looks at T'Challa, and she was like, now remember, don't please. He says, I never please. Well, I know for a fact that this man, this powerful, anointed man of God, this true man, this warrior of Christ, this man that is relentless in knocking down every obstacle that the enemy has tried to set up here in the earth. Come on, yeah. Come on. Let me tell you something about this man. He never flees. All right, now everybody, put your hands together for the amazing Elder Kevin Gray. And vision is very important here. 
Because, brother, I don't care how much you make and how well your physique is. If you're connected to a God-connected woman, a vigilant man will eventually frustrate her. During the creation process, God was setting order and principles in place, not just for nature and the environment, but if you will, for you and I as well. And one of those principles involved connection and relationship. The principle is whatever gives birth to something, it is the responsibility of that which it comes out of to nurture it, to take care of it, and for its well-being. For example, fish come out of water. It is the water's responsibility to make sure the nurturing and well-being of the fish are provided. Fruit, vegetation, trees, plants come out of the earth. It is the earth's responsibility for the well-being and nurturing of those things. Mankind came out of God. It was God's responsibility for our nurturing and our well-being. Woman came out of man. Brothers, it is our responsibility for their nurturing and their well-being. If any point in time they become separated, somebody's going to die. When Adam fell in the garden spiritually, he died. That's why we have to have the born again process now, because he was disconnected. And that's the problem we're having, my brothers and sisters. That's why we're here today, because we've been dying relationally, just as brothers and sisters. I'm not, not my husband. This, this, is, this is not going to happen, not on our watch. We're new birth. We, we birth things. We don't die. I've been 
believe God put Jay and Adam with the opportunity and the responsibility for caring for a life that stemmed directly from him. Also, Adam now has the, the charge to speak forth and pull out, as God did, the wife that was within the woman. See, I'm, I'm going to repeat this a few times, but Proverbs says, he who finds a wife finds good. Now, often we say he who finds a wife finds a good thing, but that's not a correct translation. It's simply good. It, it makes reference to the same good in Genesis when God did something. He said, wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. He didn't present Adam with that particular good because he wanted that good to come out of Adam. And he also wanted Adam to pull out the good that was in her, which is the wife. See, but that's why you have to understand, any man can find a woman, but it takes a God-connected, discerning man to pull out the wife and the woman. And so, uh, and to my single sisters, you know, understanding this order and process God used in connecting Adam and Eve is important. It addresses why you should never take the position of settling for anybody. Amen. This is not a position for you to take because you're far too precious and valuable. Amen. God would never just present you to anybody. Your assignment and your makeup is for your body. It is for your body, the body God connected you to in eternity. Your body that is of a man of God who's filled with the Holy Spirit and wisdom, strength, purpose. He's filled with love, vision, honor, and respect. Your body loves himself, so he's capable of loving you. <laughs> Your body is a glory-producing king, priest, warrior. He's a lover of God. Your body may just be in his final developmental stage. Hey, to be keeping it real, you may just be in your final developmental stage. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. See, in, <laughs> yeah, boy, boy, boy. See, God is making you presentable while he's making him present word. <laughs> God is making you presentable while he's making him present worthy. Because see, you're a kid. See, I, 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 my wife is here, so I know I can't cross a certain line. <laughs> but my wife and I went through so much turmoil, pain, and tribulation, and issues because I wasn't present worthy when I married. Not that we shouldn't have gotten married, but we got married too soon. I was still in my developmental stages. And to be honest, so was she. But I was really in my developmental stages. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Now, it's not that I wasn't worthy of the gift because we were not seen. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I remember my wife asked me uh, some, after some years in our marriage, what did I see in her? What attracted me to her? And I know what she wanted to hear. Oh, it was your eyes, your legs, your hands, your beauty, your charm. But I was being honest. I was trying to walk as a man of God. And, 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 and honestly, God allowed me to see her spirit. And to be honest, I didn't understand what I was seeing. See, what God did, he allowed me to see the wife in her. Now catch this now. Not a wife I needed then, but what I needed for right now. <laughs> God 
telling you, I, y'all heard me say this before. I heard angels ask God, please get, send me a sign to get somebody else. Please. This thing go here for the city of here. Unwrapping takes place as we engage in intimacy, not just sex. Intimacy, into me, see, is required to find the wife that God placed in her for you. See, if not operating in this understanding, you may miss your God ordained wife and you find yourself chasing after breast, legs, and thighs. some of you say, well, respect has to be earned. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But do, do us a favor. Just examine the gauge by which you are measuring a man's earning of your respect. Does it line up with scripture? Does it line up with original intent? Or does it line up with what the world has given? 